Hello students, welcome to EduAid. I am Amarjit Dev, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Assam Don Bosco University. Well friends, today uh, we will be discussing the last part or the last lesson of Unit 1, which is Nature and Significance of Management. Okay, we, have, uh, we are in the concluding part now. Now before I discuss few cases and few questions with you, if you can recollect, in every topic I had discussed uh, the probable questions or rather how you will prepare for those questions. Now, uh, if you are talking of learning, if I ask you what is learning, this question will not come in your exams, but it is. you must be aware of it. What is learning? Learning is that which brings about permanent changes in our behavior. Only then we can say that we have learned a lesson, a skill, whatever it is. We don't like to get up early in the morning, majority of us or few of us, whatever it is. If I am unable to get up early in the morning and what do I do? I need to get up in the morning for my work. So what do I do? I put up an alarm in my mobile and I start few days. I don't listen to the alarm. So I tell my family members to wake me up. After a few days, you know, we, I listen to the alarm and somehow I manage to wake up. And uh, the, after a while, I don't need the mobile phone alarm anymore. The moment it is 5.30, I wake up. I have learned. Okay. So now when you talk of levels of learning, learning goes, it's like a step. Learning goes through various levels. The first level of learning is knowledge. Which is the first level of learning. To define what is management, to define the various levels of management, to define the various functions of management, knowledge. Then comes the next level. Understanding. What is understanding? You understand what is being said in the definition of management. You understand the features of the definition of management. Okay, that's the next level that you go. First level, second level. And then these are considered to be the lower levels of learning. Surprised? Okay. What are the higher levels of learning? The higher levels of learning would be application, analysis, synthesis, evaluation. That way, Knowledge has how many levels? These are the four levels and these are the two levels. Knowledge has six levels, right? So as a manager in an organization, when you are initially, when you join initially as a new employee, it may be any designation, any role that you are having. You are basically in these two stages. And as you start gaining experience, you come to this level where you start, you know, applying your thoughts and your plans and your theories into practice more. You start analyzing, you start synthesizing. That means in your own opinion, you are trying to devise a plan. And then finally, you're evaluating, you're taking a decision based on these. So these are basically the functions which top level management perform. Okay, so considering the levels of learning that you have understood now, in terms of the lower and the higher levels, what I want you to achieve during the course of this lesson is in the higher levels. Therefore, you know, you can only do that very simple. You have to read, read and read. Okay, read and revise, practice and you'll find over a period of time, you know, you are moving up, you know, you'll have to invest nothing but time. Okay, because in every lesson, if you see uh, starting from the concept of management, 
the meaning of management, the definition of management, and so on and so forth. You must have seen that end of the lesson. My tomorrow cook some of the questions will do. Can I get prepared for you? Or he will question a poor cut and a get on or a hair. Now, at this stage, you need to prepare for the higher levels of learning. The questions related to higher levels of learning. I mean, key will you application based questions, analysis based questions, synthesis based questions, or evaluation based questions. And this, uh, we often understand this as, you know, I mean, HOT as we call, HOHOTS, which is higher order thinking skills, to develop the higher order thinking skills. So, you know, Parikhat HOT as we call, there are questions that you okay, related to whatever you have learned. So, therefore, let us begin with, uh, let me ask you a few questions related to uh, these aspects of uh, application or analysis or synthesis or evaluation okay uh, the question goes like this uh, a gentleman by the name of mr hazarika uh, passed his mba in the year uh, 2018 and thereafter uh, he joined a multinational bank as an investment banker his specialization in mba was finance and he passed with distinction so brilliant student that way. Now in, in the context of his work, his job is to understand the policies of top level managers and to devise strategy within his work in order to accomplish the goals and the objectives determined by the higher level management. Question of Dutta Parta Sede. Now my question to you is, to one look at a copy, you can open your copy and make your, you know, the page, Dutta Bhakku Idea pager, okay. In the first part, on the left hand side of your copy, you can write science and in the right hand side, you can write art. Now the question goes like this, what aspect of Mr. Hazarika's job is science? And what aspect of his job is art? This is the first part of the question. Okay, so let us start deriving the answer. Mr. Hazarika is an MBA by qualification. So the MBA degree would fall under science because this degree is based on sound theoretical knowledge. It's a formalized method of acquiring the education, the candidate had to go a stringent process of admission, evaluation and then complete the degree. There was a lot of training involved. So the various criteria of management being a science is being fulfilled when you talk of MBA as a degree. So this is the aspect of science. Now in his work, Mr. Hazarika is interpreting the policies of top level management and devising his own strategy to implement the strategy at his level, you know, in the bank. He is working as an investment banker. So investment banker or job to take mainly devising investment strategies for the customers, especially I mean, HNI customers will call high net worth individuals because who has a lot of potential, a lot of money with them to invest or otherwise also. So in among his team members, he is devising a strategy. Okay. And he is, a, he is an MBA from a reputed institute. So he has been adopt, he has been uh, placed in a higher level, in a higher level function. Okay. So the aspect that is considered to be an art is basically the implementation part, implementation of top level management plans, devising strategy among his team for the accomplishment of business objectives. This aspect will be the aspect of art in his job. So in any job, the application part relates to art and the theoretical aspect would relate to the science. 
Okay, friends, I hope you have noted it down. Now, the third, the second part of the question, this was the first part of the question that which part is science, which part is art. The second part of the case, which says that identify the level in which Mr. Hazarika is working and explain the functions. Okay, so can you tell me what level is he working? If you look back to the question, if you have noted it down or if you have listened, he is implementing the plans of top level management. So therefore, Mr. Hazarika is working what level? In the middle level management because he is interpreting the plans of top level management and he is developing strategies for the lower level management. Okay, and then name some functions of middle level management. One or two, okay. And that would be like to implement the plans of, uh, to implement the middle level management plans through the lower level management. Middle level management or strategy boards it would organizational objectives objectives achieve karar karone hey strategy bur teonoke kak dibo they'll make it understand to the lower level management so that is one aspect of his job as a middle level manager okay and also to get feedback from the lower level management in terms of the progress made in the work so on and so forth already you have done the functions of middle level manager but i hope how you will answer this into two or three parts please make paragraphs when you are answering it, the length need not be very long, but the presentation has to be very, very clear in your copy. Okay, friends. Now, let us go to this one more uh, small case. Okay. The case reads like this. Uh, Mr. So uh, Sanjoy Barua um, is a MBA by qualification and he is working in a multinational company as a supervisor. Identify the level in which he is working and explain few functions. So now, Mr. Sanjoy Borua is working as a supervisor. Supervisor means which level position? Tomorrow, okay, you can look back in your copy. Lower level, LL guli moi likhilu, lower level position. That means his job is to implement the plans of middle level managers and also to work as a supervisor amongst his team to guide them in implementing the work. Therefore, what will be his two functions? One could be, you know, uh, creating a very congenial or a healthy work environment. Work environment. The second could be forwarding the, identifying and forwarding the grievances of the lower level management of the workers to the top level management. So grievance handling could be one. The third could be maintaining, monitoring the quality of output of the products and services because they are at the implementation level, the lower level managers. So customer logo can ke products bur deal korea se service quality to kaneke hoise and so on and so forth. Clear friends? So these are the two cases related to higher order thinking skills or you can say related to synthesis and evaluation. When, please remember the moment when it is synthesis and evaluation, you can always give your point of view. Okay, you have the scope. Now, before I end, I just want to give you, uh, I just want to say one more thing. And that is sometimes, you know, when you read once, especially during examination, when there is time pressure, you know, uh, the question seems to be confusing and difficult. It may be, because especially the higher level questions. So please read it for the second time and the third time. Number two is the question, even if the question is complicated or it may be complicated to you, may, may not be to an, another student. Please remember that the answer is not complicated. The answer is, you know, answer is still the same. So therefore, when you are reading those questions, first, your first job is to identify the theory the question is talking about. That is the technique. Okay, what theory is this question related to? And your next step would be answer the theory. That's all. Whatever you know, of course, what you don't know, you cannot answer, but I'm sure you'll be knowing it. So you answer the theory. Sometimes when you come out of the exam hall, you find you have answered the wrong theory. The answer is wrong. Why? Because your identification of the theory is wrong, especially with higher order thinking skills. And the examiner feels very good about the paper where a student has answered the higher order and the application based questions very well. Okay, friends. Thank you very much.